Hello, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be explaining nucleus, chromosomes, DNA, and genes. Okay, I'll obviously touch on them in more detail in other videos. Now, starting with the basic structure. So what we have, obviously, is a very simple animal cell drawn here. Obviously, I've missed out some of the other features, but we don't need to worry about those for this video. Obviously, here we have the nucleus. Now, if we zoom in on our nucleus, what we'd find in the nucleus is chromosomes. So these are our chromosomes, and they're normally paired up. In humans, we have 23 pairs. So that means we have 46 in total. So we get one set of 23 from our mother, one set of 23 from our father, giving us a total of 23 pairs, or 46 chromosomes in total. Obviously, I've simplified it here. This could be another organism with a different number of chromosomes to humans. Okay? Now, these chromosomes, if we zoom in on a chromosome, it is made of a molecule called DNA. So if I zoom in on one chromosome, I could draw my DNA molecule like so. So this DNA molecule has something called a double helix structure. What that means is there are two strands and they are spun into a spiral format. That's all. Okay? So that's our DNA molecule. Okay? Now if we zoom in on a short section of DNA, so let's imagine this short section here, it will give us a gene. Okay? And genes are what code for our features. For example, I'll have a gene that gives me my eye colour being blue. Okay? Now, obviously, we inherit two genes from every feature because we have two sets of the chromosomes, one from our mother, one from our father. So I will have two genes for eye colour, one for my mum, one for my dad. Now, I'll come back to that in later videos when we talk about inheritance so it gets a little bit more tricky. Okay? But firstly, we know that genes give us features, but for B2, you need to know slightly more than that. So here, I've zoomed in on my gene. So zoom right in on a gene. Now what genes do is they code for a specific sequence of amino acids. Okay? So imagine we've got amino acid. So each of these shapes represents an amino acid. And this gene codes for a specific sequence. So it's essentially a script, and, you, and the, the cell reads through it and puts together a specific sequence of amino acids, which makes a protein. And it is this protein that gives us our features. Okay? So one slightly further step that you need to know from B1 to B2 is that genes code for amino acids, which in turn code for proteins, and that's what will then give us our features. Okay? Thank you very much for watching. I hope that helped. Please like, share and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Rushcliffe Bio. Thank you very much.